Hi guys, still Bram from Legends and I'm going to give you some more details about the famous, worshipped and celebrated Basilic of the Holy Blood now. Next to the city hall we have the Basilic of the Holy Blood. Originally built as a double chapel by Cherry of Alsace, Count of Flanders, between 1139 and 1149. The bottom one, devoted to St. Basilius, of whom they had several little bones they venerated, is purely Romanesque and the best kept example of its kind in West Flanders. The upper chapel, housing the relic of the Holy Blood, underwent various restorations, last one in 19th century when it got its new neo-gothic interior and staircase. They say the shrine has been brought back by Cherry of Alsace on its way to the Holy Land uh, during the Second Crusade, but actually it goes back to the stop his successor, Baldwin IX, another Count of Flanders, made in Constantinople during the Fourth Crusade. On the piece of cloth inside the crystal bottle, they caught a few drops of blood of the body of Jesus Christ himself while washing it before he resurrected. You usually can visit the guarded shrine twice a day and it's been declared a basilic uh, in 20th century by the Pope. But of course been attracting pilgrims and tons of other peoples for way longer. Also because every year for more than 700 years already we have the beautiful procession of the Holy Blood when they bring the shrine from here to the St. Saviour's Cathedral and back and everybody is dressed up spectacularly from young to old riding on horses and camels I always wanted elephants, it's not with elephants but still I strongly recommend you to come back at least once halfway May on Ascension Day Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share and you can always leave a donation for the guide. There'll be more videos on our YouTube channel, so subscribe and stay tuned.